Hi, I'm Star Swift from Grand Valley State University, and with me today are two students. Hi guys, I'm Erin. And my name is Pradeep. And what we want to do is teach you the Bluescape for Beginners. And so we'll start out first with Erin, you want to go through at the top left hand side of the screen, the word Bluescape and what you do with that. Right, so at the top left you have the words Bluescape. So when you click on it, it'll allow you either to stay in your workspace or go out of your workspace. And a workspace is where you keep all your canvases, note cards, and documents. Well, the first icon we have is the users icon with the number three uh, showing the three people that are active right now. So if we click that, there's the list of everyone who's active on the workspace. Um, and if we were to click on our own name, so here Erin is clicking on her name, she becomes the leader. So what the leader does is the leader shows their screen and directs everyone to wherever they're uh, trying to show people on the workspace. So there it says one follower. So I have, uh, I am the follower right now and Star isn't following. So Erin clicked on her own name and she's no longer the leader. Uh, and if she were to click on my name, she's now following me. So I am now the leader. Um, and this allows us to share whatever information we will want to, to keep people's focus on the different parts of the wall. The next thing we see on the left hand side is a little phone and I, it says meta, meet beta. And Pradeep, you want to explain what that is? Sure. So here we have our collaboration center. So when we kind of click the meet icon, we can see at the bottom that there are three other icons. The first icon is to share our screen. So that could be either the screen that we have right now, the Bluescape screen, or it could be any other application that's running behind. So you can select which window you want to share. And the video icon uh, is for video calling a conference uh, through Bluescape. So everyone would be talking right here and uh, you would see each other. So that's it. Hey guys. right there. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And then finally, we have the voice uh, only kind of calling. So it would be a conference call with no video. And we can hang that up uh, just by clicking the red phone. Thanks, Pretty. Next thing is Canvas, and I'll take that one. The way that you organize everything on a Bluescape work wall is through uh, the Canvas. And you'll see there that we've got a Canvas already set up. And if you click on Canvas, you can see um, Canvas. You can add a Canvas if you want to. And what we'll do right now is we'll add the Canvas and name it Canvas, canvas 1. Canvas 1, OK. All right, the next thing you should know about Canvas is that there are many things you can do if you go to the Canvas marker itself. And you want to click on that for me, Erin? Okay. And then you'll see a menu. And you want to click on the menu for me? And you can see there that you can send messages to other members of your group. And those messages will uh, be emails that will give a link. And the link will take the person right back to the Canvas from their email. It's a great tool. The other things you can do, if you go back to the menu, is you can do comments, you can edit, you can duplicate, you can present, or you can delete the whole thing. Thank you. Now the next thing is activity. You want to explain that, Erin? Sure. So you have your little activity icon that kind of looks like a little like message blurb and it's the fourth one down and it shows all your comments and all your activities so for example if you want to make a comment you click on anything on your wall for example we're going to click the note card and it'll show a little like menu bar right beside it and we're going to click the little message icon, which is the second one down. So we can write, hello world. <laughs> <laughs> and then see my comment that I just wrote right here. And if you go back into your activities, it'll show your little message.
Very good. Now the next uh, icon is the pen. And if you look at the pen, you'll see that it has a pen. And Erin, if you want to um, click on that one. And then you can pick a color. And then you can pick the width. And Erin will draw on a canvas and show you the width. Now, if you want to delete that, what you do is you just erase it. You hit the eraser. Sometimes it's hard to see. And then she'll take that up and she'll erase it. Finally, the one that a lot of people don't understand uh, because they don't see it that well is the third icon in that toolbox. And it has both a square, but it also has a lasso. And if you hit the lasso, and we're going to have Aaron go over to the, um, to the uh, document, a Word document to the right, and she's going to circle both that Word document and a note card. And it turns in, if you want to, into a canvas. And so if she clicks on the menu, she goes down and she hits Create Canvas. Well, canvas too? Sure. And there you have your canvas. Now, if she wants to make it bigger, the canvas bigger, she can take the document She can take the document and she can carefully push it against the canvas. Got to do a little bit slower. There you go. Great. And she can make the canvas as big as she wants. Then the next thing she wants to always do is what? So the next thing we're going to do is pin your little note cards or your documents just so they're not like flying around your wall like an airplane. So we're going to go to this little pin icon right here. And press that. And then your document isn't able to move anymore. Great. Okay, text. Pradeep, you want to walk us through that one? Sure. So the text icon uh, allows us to type directly onto our workspace. So when we click it, as you can see here, there's a bunch of formatting options like bold, italics, size, color, and then uh, we can also choose the specific color uh, or we can edit the color and have a custom color if we'd like as well. So here, when we select a color and then we go right into um, the, the text, so we can type it right into the canvas, uh, and then you can just either edit what's already there or add a new one. Hi. And that's the text. Now, can you move the text? We sure can. So all you have to do is move it around by clicking on it with the uh, hand tool. And can you um, pin it? Sure. There you go. All right. Thank you very much. Our next uh, tool we have, if you look off to the left, is the note card. And you'll see the note cards are um, very easy. You click on it, and then you want to uh, type something onto the note card, Erin? And you can make it either small type or big type. And then you just place it. Don't forget to pin. The next thing is the cloud. And the cloud is the way that you're able to bring documents to the workspace. You want to go through those for us, Pradeep? Sure. So when we click on the cloud icon, as you can see here, there are a bunch of different options. So that's obviously about the source of where you're getting the file or document from. So if we wanted to get an image from Google Images, we click the Google Images icon, and then you can type up anything you like. So, dog. <laughs> and there's a little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweetheart. Now, how would you delete that? So. You just have to click on it, go to the menu that's on the top right, and click Delete. Bye, pooch. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Ruff, ruff. laughs> <laughs> All right, and there are other things on the cloud, too, aren't there? Like, how, how would I get a, a Word document up there? So the file icon here, the green icon, is how to upload things directly from the device. 
So here now we can see all the locally stored uh, documents. So selecting any of the Word documents there. For example, this is the document that we have uploaded, as you can see, to your right. So if we wanted to upload that, we would just click it and click open, and it would come up right on your right. Excellent. I noticed YouTube. Can you really um, bring a YouTube on, uh, video onto the workspace? Absolutely. So we can even search right out of here, even if you don't know the URL for your video. And, and you can find all types of them, can't you? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that goes right into your workspace. So if we were to click the, the first one right there, click select, and there it is. Mm -hmm. And you can even pin that, huh? Yep. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. The last thing we have is um, we have what looks like a window. And that's just for people that have wireless displays. Um, and for instance, Dell makes them. Um, you can find out through Bluescape who else makes them. We have planar boards. And what happens is that if I want to, when I'm teaching, I want to uh, display onto the nice board and it's a touch screen, um, I have to put a PIN number in. And that's a security uh, measure. And so there'll be a PIN up on the wireless display, whether it's Dell, whatever the monitor is. And I have to pin that, put the PIN in there before it will display. And that's just a security measure. And there we have it. I don't think we have anything else we have to explain. Do you guys? No, I think that's good. Yeah, everything looks good. Hope this was helpful for you guys.